Hey guys, it's Albethium back with another video for Risk of Rain Returns, the remaster done by the same original developers, the Hopu Games, and well published by Gearbox Publishing that was kind enough to sponsor this video and give me the code. And well, we're gonna be discussing a really, really cool and powerful build in the game. And before I even think about asking you to click that like or subscribe button for me, I just ask that you give me a chance to earn that from you. And with that being said, well, let's get in on this. And for this build we're gonna be using the Commando, and again the skills are the Double Tap, the Full Metal Jacket, a Tactical Dive, something that the fans of Soulsborne games are absolutely going to be loving right here, and uh, well we have Suppressive Fire here as the last final skill, fire rapidly stunning and hitting nearby enemies for 6 times the 60% of damage, so very much a jack of all trades to start the game with. Okay, so this is basically going to be the Elemental Haunted Commando. I know, it sounds ridiculous, but it is such a super fun build. And the most important items in this build are going to be absolutely the Will o' the Wisp. Now, this is gonna be the fire in our elementals, and this gives us a 33% chance on killing an enemy to create a lava pillar for 300% damage. This also knocks the enemies upwards. Also, we're gonna be using the plasma chain and this also gives us a chance on hit to tether onto one enemy, uh, dealing 60% damage over 0.5 seconds and all the enemies in its path. So as you are tethered to an enemy, any enemy it is touching, it's also gonna be, well, damaging. Now, awesome thing is here that you can stack it and the more you stack it, the more sweet, sweet damage you're gonna be doing. Another thing in this amazing, amazing elemental build is going to be the Frost Relic. Killing an enemy surrounds you with three icicles that deal 33% damage each for every 0.33 seconds and you can also stack this a lot. And the lightning in this awesome elemental build is going to be the ukulele. Now, ukulele gives you a 20% chance on hit to fire a chain lightning for 66% of total damage on up to 3 targets. Also, very much stackable. Now, every build needs to have a very good defensive foundation for all of this offense, otherwise you're just not going to last that long. And we are gonna be creating a little synergy here that, uh, well, weirdly enough, is not including the fungus, and this might actually upset some purists of the series, but hey, we are gonna be focusing on the infusion. Every time you do kill an enemy, you're gonna be increasing your base HP with. Now, this is gonna be working phenomenally well with the bitter root that increases your maximum health by 8%. So the more you actually increase your HP by infusion, you are going to be triggering these 8% creating more and more HP for yourself. Now also, we're going to be using the Leeching Seed that uh, grants you the power to attack enemies and heal you for 2 HP and it's also very much stackable. And uh, well, super important item is going to be the 56 Leaf Clover and this gives you the ability to elite mobs have a 4% chance to actually drop items so you never know what you're actually going to be getting you could get super super lucky and just give everything to you the game just dropping everything you need also monster tooth killing an enemy will heal you for 10 health so this is all giving you a super amazing base to be constantly healing through everything and let's not even forget that we have the meat nugget that also just drops HP everywhere the more you keep hitting the enemies. Now, why I call this build the Haunted also? Because we're gonna be using the Jar of Souls as our little special move and uh, well, this duplicates every enemy as a ghost to fight on your side and ghost lasts for 15 seconds and have 70% damage. It is absolutely a phenomenal, phenomenal superpower. And there you have it, guys. That is the Haunted Elemental Commando. Hopefully, you're gonna be having fun with this. It is a very, very strong build that has just been chewing everything up. And, well, let me know in the comments. Are you gonna be trying this? Do you have any build ideas of your own? And, well, guys, this is Elbethium. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.